Warm spring evening uh, taking place across central Texas. 71 degrees down from 83. Again, the high in Waco today, 85. Very close to it. The high tomorrow, 81. If you would have waited just one more day, could have broke it. 76 degrees, Temple. Dew point in the 60s. So you're feeling the mugginess out there. It's because that south wind was cranked up today. Last couple days pumping in that gulf moisture. We did have some isolated showers this morning around 35. Most of the activity slowly pressed off towards the east. But look at that line right there. We're going to see this line of showers and thunderstorms get going and it will push into central Texas as we go into the overnight hours. Got some strong thunderstorms with it now. We'll lose that daytime heating. Should weaken as it pushes through, but our northern areas could see a couple stronger thunderstorms. You'll see that here on future track in just a moment. Uh, again, a couple strong thunderstorms not out of the question. Gusty winds, maybe some small hell with some of the strong ones, but not expecting any severe weather. What we will see is strong north winds ushering in some cooler air, and when it comes through in the overnight hours, winds will be 15 to 25 miles per hour sustained, gusting over 30, maybe 35 miles per hour overnight through the morning hours tomorrow. You're walking out to the car. You didn't need a jacket today. You will need one tomorrow. These are winds still 15 to 25 miles per hour sustained, and it takes all day for them to relax. Going to keep them 10 to 20 through the afternoon. It's still pretty breezy there as we get into the late afternoon in the evening hours. Here comes the front. Maybe our far western areas though, where we could see that cutoff where the, the line really breaks up. But again, we are expecting it to move off towards the south. Maybe an embedded thunderstorm in there. But uh, nonetheless, we will see this narrow line come through with some lingering light rain on the backside. 2, 3 a.m. time frame cutting through Waco and Temple. By time you're heading out for the 6, 30, 7 a.m. commute, line is off towards the south. Still some lingering light showers and sprinkles. We'll keep those in the forecast through the day. We could even see some more uh, showers move through in the late evening into the overnight hours. And then we're looking out towards the west. Another disturbance moving through. Now, future track doesn't really bring it in. You see it keeps it a little bit further south. But I think right now this could change. We'll see some of that light rain at least making its way into central Texas as far north as Temple, maybe as far as Waco with the thick cloud cover, colder air continuing to filter in from the north and any rainfall that we would see would keep temperatures in the 40s. If we don't see the rainfall make it as far north, those areas will be into the 50s and our far western areas could be cold enough. They may even see maybe a little light sleep mixing in with some of the rain. Not expecting anything. Doug, don't get him. Doug's trying to get you fired up. Don't listen to him. <laughs> Did he just say I'm lying? Temperatures in the 40s. You can't call me out on that. I'm not lying there, Nick. Uh, temperatures again in the 50s in the afternoon tomorrow. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. Pretty chilly the next few days. Again, expecting the rain to move in. We'll continue to fine tune it. Temperatures in the 40s here on Wednesday. Pretty chilly. Sleep. Could have a sleep pellet or two mixed in out there. <laughs> the West, I got to say it because I'll get called up. You didn't say it. All right, Zach. Thank you very much.